Here at Pocket Now, we get a ton of questions about our favorite devices, our favorite apps and games, and even about our personal lives. The Pocket Now Insider Series is a way for us to answer those questions. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are my top apps for Android and iOS. Each time I set up a new phone, I go through the same ritual of downloading dozens of applications I rely on. But of all the applications I download each time, there are only a handful I wouldn't want to go without. These are my must-have applications on both Android and iOS. On Android, my needs are pretty simple. Action Launcher is my saving grace when using Sense or TouchWiz devices, and it's even my go-to launcher when using the stock or near-stock Android phones. Unlike most launchers, the application drawer is an alphabetical list of all apps accessed by swiping rightward from the left side of the display. One of my favorite features is Covers, or an icon which acts like an icon when tapped, but reveals the contents of the folder underneath when swiped upwards. In version 2.0, which went live earlier today, there is also a quick page, which allows widgets and app shortcuts to be opened from within any app by a swipe from the right side of the display. The application drawer can also be opened atop any application. The developer Chris Lacey continues to make this the most intriguing and impressive replacement launcher out there. After using Samsung devices for a while, there's always one feature I miss from Samsung's custom keyboard, the clipboard. It's a feature all Android devices should have, as I find myself copying and pasting quite a bit. Clipper Plus is the best solution I've come across yet. Anything you copy immediately gets saved to your clipboard within Clipper. It remains persistent in your notification shade. If you need to access something you've recently copied, pull down the shade, tap the Clipper Plus notification, and it brings you to your most recent clippings. Tapping one will instantly copy the text and return you to the previous application. From there, simply paste. It's super easy with several settings to tweak to your liking. It comes in a free version, but if you want cloud sync across multiple devices and access to more clippings, you'll need to upgrade to Clipper Plus for $199. For someone who uses multiple devices, cloud sync is a must-have feature, even for the simple things like an alarm clock. That's why Timely is such an incredible yet simple app. It's a beautiful application with a timer, stopwatch, and alarm clock. Within the application, I can enable or disable all alarms on all of my synced devices. There are tons of customization options as well as a broad selection of alarm sounds. Hands down, it's one of the best alarm clock apps around. I couldn't possibly make a video about my top apps without mentioning Dash Clock. Most of you know by now that it's a free widget with an ever-growing list of extensions. I've made a couple videos on Dash Clock already, so check those out for a more in-depth look at the widget. My top apps on iOS are a bit more specific and unique. I've already said I do a lot of copying and pasting. One of my least favorite things, however, is having to paste ugly, long URLs from mobile. The Bitly app for iOS helps solve that problem. It gives me access to all of my previously shortened links as well as the ability to shorten new links on the fly. What the app can do is pretty limited, but I can track link analytics and manage all of my shortened links fairly easily. Twitter is a big part of my daily routine, and on iOS there is only one client I bother with, Tweetbot 3. It was recently updated with iOS 7 support and a new UI. As expected, it's packed with all the same features as before, link shortening through user-definable services, several read later services, and various options for picture and video uploading. It's smooth and polished and has one of the cleanest UIs, now with a light or dark theme. Frankly, this is the Twitter client to beat, and it's well worth the $2.99 price tag. I'm also an avid user of If This Then That, and I was dying for a mobile application to be released until earlier this year. Now I can edit and create recipes straight from my iPhone. I have things like weather updates that push to my Pebble through Pushover on Android, or SMS notifications for Instagram uploads on accounts I need to follow. If This Then That is an awesome automation utility, and the ability to use it from my phone is irreplaceable. Calendar apps are a dime a dozen, but Fantastical 2 is something special. From the UI navigation to the creation of calendar entries, Fantastical makes going back to the run-of-the-mill calendar app quite difficult. Why? Natural language event creation. Type things like, go to the grocery store tomorrow at 3 for an hour, and it will create an event titled, go to the grocery store, dated for the following day, from 3 to 4 p.m. It's honestly incredible. The following applications are on both Android and iOS, and most of them are fairly well known by now. Pocket, for example, is simply my choice in read later applications. The UI is gorgeous and it's widely supported across all the platforms I use, iOS and Android tablets and phones, Chrome, Mac, etc. Save things to Pocket and read them offline later. 
It's straightforward, simple, and necessary. The same goes for Hangouts. It's simply my preferred method of contact these days. It's available on Chrome, Android, and iOS, and I use it religiously every single day from multiple devices. I use Feedly to browse RSS feeds. What I've read is synced across all of my devices and my computer. From within Feedly, I share to my Buffer account, which allows me to share links and various content on a predefined schedule. There is also a Buffer app for Android and iOS, which allows you to manage what's in your Buffer, your schedule, etc. Buffer is an absolute must when you're managing multiple social accounts. It's something I simply can't live without. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one in the future. Leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and follow us in the usual places, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I will see you next time.